guys what's up welcome back or welcome to perfume and me if you're new to my channel my name is erica thank you so much for joining today i have some of the most intoxicating winter fragrances in front of me and i cannot wait to share them with you i am so looking forward to winter of 2023 heading right into winter of 2024 all of these should take me straight into march of 2024 and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a part two of a winter perfume tray because I'm already piling up more fragrances over there on that tray. So, well, let's go ahead and get started. Start with the first one here that I only have in a travel spray. I got this from Scentbird and I have an identical one that came with a collection I had bought from someone. This is Cherry Punk, and if you've never received a fragrance from Scentbird, it comes in this nice travel size spray container, and at the bottom, there's a little slit. It is magnetic, so it easily comes open, and inside is your travel spray. Really nice, really convenient, right? So let's go ahead and give this a spray. And to me, this is strong enough to where I don't think I'm going to need a full bottle yet. That's why I wanted to bring it out and share it with you. So let's go ahead and see if I can get this to spray. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I love this. This is sweet, fruity, peppery cherry with a bold, deep, dark, rich leather and I mean rich leather this is loud domineering and unapologetic absolutely beautiful now the leather does soften up after about a half hour and then it remains a really nice cherry leather scent that's what this is a beautiful cherry leather and I just adore this if you haven't gotten your nose on cherry punk by room 1015 I highly recommend you do if you love cherry and you like leather stop I have psychedelic from Javoy if you have never purchased from Javoy this is how the bottle comes the name is written on the side along with the name Javoy and I believe this is my third Javoy fragrances. And I believe I mentioned the other two in my fall videos. So you can check those out as well. Now, let me go ahead and give this a spray because I can't wait to. I love this. Oh my gosh. This smells so amazing to me. And this was not a blind buy. I could not wait to get this. It took me about a year to to finally purchase this, I fell in love with this from a sample that I had, a small itty bitty sample. I wanted it. I wanted it right then and there. And I believe it was summer. I didn't care. It smells amazing to me. On me, this is a deep, dark chocolate patchouli balm. It's delicious. It's a bit sweet damp and dirty patchouli it's vanilla and it's spicy thick rich dense strong sexy and classy this is absolutely gorgeous it makes my heart so happy every time i smell this it is so intoxicating mind-blowing perfectly unisex, very long lasting. Again, it is amazing. One of my top patchouli fragrances in my collection. I am in love with this. I want to put a huge dent in this this year. Stop. I have Czar from Royal Crown. Look at this beautiful bottle. It is stunning in person. The cap, the diamonds on it, the crystals, it's shining like new money. It's gorgeous. Uh, let's go ahead and give Zara a spray. And that is T-Z-A-R. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. 
Oh my goodness. This is such a delight to wear. The opening is beautiful aromatic spices. Nutmeg and black pepper. Then you have dense waxy florals appear. Magnolia and Lily of the Valley. Beautiful smelling florals sitting on top a bed, a base of woods. Cedar, vetiver, sandalwood. Spicy, aromatic, woody floral is what this is. And it's absolutely stunning. This has great longevity, moderate sillage. And I think this can be worn year round. I absolutely love this. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I have a clandestine Clara from Penn Halligan's Portraits Collection. I think the bottle is so adorable. That bird, it just looks so prim and so proper. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and give this a spray. Mm, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Clandestine Clara for me. This has a dry, earthy patchouli that balances out a very warm vanilla. There's woody notes. There's a rich, sweet, boozy rum with a shot of fiery cinnamon. Perfect for winter. I love cinnamon in the winter. And then this dries down to a very pleasant, warm, creamy, vanillic amber with woods and spices. Stunning, absolutely stunning, cozy, comforting winter fragrance. It's definitely a winter beauty. Clandestine Clara Penhaligans. Stop. I have Secuta by Vicanto. Let's give this one a spray. And I can't wait to spray this one. I love them all. But this one, oh my God, this one has a wow factor that I just absolutely love head over heels for this fragrance right here. This opens with a burst of mandarin orange citrus, then a sweet, seductive, ambery Bulgarian rose and vanilla take the scene. There's also sweet, spicy woods and soft musk. This is not an overwhelmingly musky fragrance. It is just sheer perfection. It is gorgeous. This exudes confidence, strength, and beauty. And the bottle, I'm holding the bottle and it's smooth, velvety, it's comforting. It's something I just want to keep holding like for anxiety. <laughs> it's like one of those little toys you keep playing with. It feels high class, luxurious, rich. I love these bottles. A beautiful, intoxicating masterpiece. I think this one I always want to have in my collection. I just, there's something about this. Like I said, it has a wow factor to it. In love with Secuta by Vicanto. Up, I have Orchidee Vanille by Van Cleef and Arpels. I call this my noisy bottles because it has that little dangling piece on it. Let's go ahead and give this beauty a spray. Mm. This is orange, chocolate, vanilla, and tonka bean. Sweet, soft, pleasant, beautiful vanilla. Very straightforward notes. Not complicated at all. This is very safe and easy to wear because it has an intimate sillage. And although it has an intimate sillage, it is still intoxicating because it is a fragrance you just want to lay up on. 
and engulf, engulf yourself in the beauty of this. Very easy to like, definitely crowd pleasing. Soft vibes all the way. Would make a really nice, cozy, cozy, intimate fragrance for that me time with your partner. I, I love this. Um, Van Cleef and Arpels Orchidy Vanille. Up, I have Diptyque Eau de Well. Let's go ahead and give it a spray. Mm. This starts off with a strong juniper note that I love. Then I get a warm, spicy cardamom tea. Gorgeous. This is a beautiful, fresh, spicy, aromatic vanilla. It smells milky smooth, calming and cozy. It is so very nice. I am so looking forward to wearing this again. This is Eau Dwell by Diptyque. Up, I have Minoui Demi from Fragrance de Bois. And sometimes I like to show the presentation if I've never shown it before. And of course, Fragrance de Bois, they always have a beautiful, rich, luxurious presentation with their bottles. It is lined inside with red satin and your paperwork here in the card. Beautiful, right? So let's go ahead and give Minoui Demi a spray. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is so nice. Now, I sprayed this a couple times when I first got it back in the summer. And I instantly knew that this would never work in the summer. And I also knew that this was definitely going to be a winter fragrance for me. This is a beautiful, warm, spicy vanilla with caramel and coffee sprinkled with cinnamon. It is delicious. I also smell a very nice high quality cedar wood underneath of this. And I'm sure more notes will appear after I've had time to wear this several times. But this is so nice. I am so looking forward to Minoui Demi. And that is it for my first winter tray. I will see you in my next one.